Video 7, How to Create a Song, Part 3 of 5. Hello! This tutorial will explain how to use multiple synths at the same time. I am going to show you how you can drive multiple synths at once, and then how you can create chords. For our song, we already created a prominent synth part, commonly called a lead, and then we created a drum part. Now we want to create a harmonic background. In electronic music, this is often called a synth pad, or simply pad. A pad is a sustained chord or tone generated by a synthesizer, often employed for background harmony and atmosphere, in much the same fashion that a string section is often used in orchestral film scores. In the module view, let's insert an amplifier and connect it to the compressor. Then we'll take two analog generators and route their outputs into the amplifier. Now we set a saw wave for the first analog generator and a square wave for the other one. Don't forget to look at the display at the bottom of the parameters panel to visualize the shapes of these waveforms and their envelopes. From the timeline, we select the melody pattern, and from the uppermost menu, we choose Pattern Properties. Then we add two more tracks. The reason why I am doing this is because I want to write my pad inside the same pattern of the melody since the chords we choose will relate to the melody profile. The first thing I am going to write in this track is a sort of bass line that we will then use to build chords on. In this case, I am also going to use note off events because I would also like to have pauses between different chords to create a more dynamic setting. Then I copy it three times to match the whole length of the melody. Now, you could argue that it would be enough to copy and paste this line into the next track and use it to drive the second analog generator. But I want to show you a more efficient technique to achieve the same result. From the module view, we expose the menu and choose Multisynth from the Miss or Miscellaneous submenu. Then we connect it to both analog generators. Multisynth is not a real instrument, it is a sort of driver that allows us to command more than one instrument at the same time. At this point, we need to assign what we wrote before to the Multisynth module. Instead of copying and pasting the content, we can do it as follows. Be sure that the cursor in the tracker is pointing to the track we wrote before. From the menu, choose Select Track to select the whole track, then choose Remap. The Remap command allows us to assign the content of a track to a different instrument. Look at the number of the multisynth, then in the section to Module Number, set the number accordingly. 
the number of a module is always displayed in the top left corner of each module. By pressing Select Unselect All from the menu two times, we can unselect the track. Let's play what we've written. Before we move on, we need to tweak our two oscillators. Let's select the multi-synth and solo it so we can better listen to what's going on. The first analog generator is definitely too loud, so I will decrease the volume. I would also like to have a smoother attack, so I will increase the attack time. This means that my oscillator reaches its maximum amplitude after this amount of milliseconds, and not immediately at the beginning, smoothing out that harsh attack. I would even like to have a softer release, so I increase this parameter as well. Let's also filter our oscillator a little. I want to attenuate a part of the highest frequencies, so I choose a low-pass filter, and then I edit its cutoff frequency and its resonance. I do more or less the same for the second oscillator. Then I unselect the solo button of the multi-synth to listen to all of the instruments. At this point, we can transform this bass line into chords, adding the notes on the left. But before we do this, we need to add more tracks to this pattern in order to play all of the notes.
Let's listen to the result. For the moment it's fine, but there is still some work to do to make these chords sound nicer. I'll show you how to do this in the next tutorial.